Welcome to PlayPianoToday.com. This piano lesson video is titled Power Fingers, Chapter 3. Here's a strange fact. Many keyboard players might have really fast fingers, but not necessarily 10 really fast fingers. It's true, most people use their thumb, index, and middle fingers all the time, but their pinky and their ring fingers are barely developed at all. If you want to develop lightning fast speed and accuracy, you've got to develop all 10 fingers evenly. That's exactly what we're going to look at today. Now the thing that started me down the road on this lesson was kind of a bummer for me. I went to do a gig and the music was kind of outside my box. You know I love to do rhythm and blues and jazz, but this was kind of a country barn burning hoedown kind of thing. If you've ever listened to some really good flat pickers, these folks are like virtuosos playing unending phrases of eighth notes that go on all night. Stuff like this. And you do that for a while and your hands are like, oh man, and they start to slow down. So I went home that night and I got to thinking, now, wait a minute, I've done all these hand exercises all my life. Why are my hands slowing down? Maybe it's because while I was exercising all those years, my hands were tensing up, especially the ring finger and the pinky. How could I teach my hands to relax in order to gain more speed? So my goal became to find an exercise that would develop all the fingers evenly while allowing them to stay relaxed for maximum speed, power, and accuracy. The great thing is, I found something that worked better than I expected. The answer is to practice finger exercises that contain horizontal finger movement. Things like this. Because the chord shapes keep changing, not only do my fingers have to move vertically to press down the keys, but they've got to move horizontally back and forth. And here's the secret to the exercise. Horizontal finger movement keeps your hands from getting locked in one position, forcing them to stay relaxed. It's an amazing thing. And as you know, in any field, whether that's athletics or public speaking or playing piano, being relaxed is where you're going to find maximum performance. Historically, typical piano exercises maintain the same hand position up and down the keyboard, kind of like this. <laughs> And that's good. There's a lot of benefits to that. The problem comes when you do all of your exercises in a locked hands position with no variation or horizontal finger movement. Your hands are no longer relaxed and they begin to slow down, cramp up, and your performance goes out the window. Now somebody might ask me, hey, I'm a beginning piano player and my hands are kind of in a locked position all the time. Is that going to be damaging to my hands or the way I play? Well, no. Uh, we kind of all start out real simple and our hands are in the same position. That's an ideal way to start. In fact, even in chapters one and two of this particular piano lesson series, Power Fingers, I showed you some exercises where your hands do stay in exactly the same shape. And again, that's where beginners need to start. But now we're moving into advanced levels of speed, power, and accuracy. And your hands have to be relaxed to get to this level of performance. Let's dig into the exercise itself. Let me play just a little bit of it for you. Don't be afraid of the big luscious chords in this exercise. I mean, if we have to play exercises anyway, we might as well be playing chords that sound fantastic. Later in the video, I'll show you how to download a chart I've put together that will show you exactly what to play. Here's the first chord from the exercise. And the goal is to play all these notes as evenly as possible, keeping your hand relaxed. And the left hand's got it easy because it's just simply playing one note down below to give the exercise color. We go to the 
the second chord, back to the first chord, and again these are all on the printout. Now we're going to go to a nice big A-flat major 7 chord. Moving. Your hands are always moving and staying relaxed. Now the whole hand is going to move and stretch out. And go for some nice big fat chords. And if you're an advanced player, you can run it up and down the keyboard like this. You don't have to. It's very effective just to do it right in place. And all the while, your hand is relaxed and learning to increase in speed, power, and accuracy. It's an awesome process.